Hey everybody, Mark Bates here, the author of Programming and Coffee Script. Uh, and I have a few great tips I'd love to share with you today. The, the tip I'd like to talk about today is fun with functions. So we're going to look at a couple different things that you can do with function uh, definitions in Coffee Script. So I hope you find them as fun as I do. Um, the first one I'd like to talk about is default arguments. Uh, and this is great. This is really, really useful. Let's say we have a function that creates DOM elements for us. Um, and that function, as we can see on the screen, needs to take a name and a set of attributes. So we want to create an image tag and we want to pass an attribute such as source and title and alt tag, for example. So we can pass it in with using two arguments, uh, a name and an attribute, and then we can create the element and loop through the keys and the values and the attributes. Uh, and set them onto that, that DOM element for us. Now, what if you don't have any attributes you need to pass in? Um, you know, you want to just pass in a name and just get back, you know, say you're creating just an H1 tag. Kind of overkill for an H1 tag, but who knows? So in this case, CopyScript lets you pass, lets you create default attributes, uh, default arguments uh, for your for your functions. So here we're saying, okay, this create element function is going to take a name and it's going to take an attributes. But if you don't pass attributes, that's okay. We're going to create an empty object and use that instead. That way, we don't have to check for the existence of attributes later on, um, and we can just loop you know, loop through it and not get anything. Um, this is also great for other types of arguments, you know, not just hashes. So we might have maybe we want to set the name equal to uh, an a tag as a default. So we could do that as well. And we can see what the what the JavaScript output of that would be. It is very simple uh, existence check on attributes. If the attributes is null, then we're going to set it equal to an empty hash. And we could do that ourselves, but it's a lot of boilerplate code. And other languages such as Ruby have it, so why shouldn't we? The second thing I'd like to talk about um, is setting instance variables in argument lists. And this is something I really wish Ruby would have, um, which is my preferred language for backend coding. Um, a lot of times when an argument of, it will come into a function, one of the first things we'll do is immediately set it uh, to an instance variable. Um, so in JavaScript, that would be something like this.foo equals foo, foo being the name of the argument that we just got in. Well, CopyScript has our back here. Uh, in this case, it lets us to actually take in an argument, and as we append the at sign for it, and at being an analogous for this dot in CopyScript, um, lets us automatically set that argument to an instance variable. So if we look at this class we have we're, we're in our constructor, we're going to take an optional list of options. So we're going to use those default arguments we saw last time. But we're going to repand, a prepend uh, an at sign in front of uh, options. Now now what's going to happen is Kafka's going to see that and it's going to say, OK, I'm going to set this dot options equal to this empty hash. So in our salary function, we can now refer to at options, which is an instance variable, and here we're saying at options.salary, and if salary doesn't exist, then set it equal to $250,000. This is one well-paid employee. Um, and we can see the JavaScript on the other side here. Um, so it's pretty, pretty helpful. Um, and that is setting instance variables and default, and default arguments in functions. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot.